Ladies, gentlemen, honored guests, friends, alumni, and of course, my fellow brethren of the senior class of 2015. On this afternoon, the words from last night's last evening's stone ceremony ring true. The sands of our hourglass are running out, and this is perhaps the final meeting of this senior class as one on this side of eternity short. However, before I commence my speech, I have some very special people in my life to thank. People that I would not be standing here without. First of all, I would like to thank my parents and my family for all their love and support, and especially my mom, who was somehow able to convince the reluctant eighth grade daddy to stay at St. John's for most military camp. I would like to thank, perhaps, the most patient of human beings I've ever known, all of my teachers here at St. John's. You are a professional group, but more importantly, you are a caring group. You will truly be missed. And lastly, I'd like to thank you, members of the audience, for providing me a few minutes to share my thoughts with you today. I stand before you today with bittersweet emotion. This very day marks the end of a five, four, three, two, and in some cases, one year long journey. But for all of us, this marks the end of our first 12 years of formal education. Don't worry parents, you only need to pay for our tuition for four more years. I have often dreamed about graduating with my senior brothers. In those dreams, I received my diploma, shed a few tears, and say my final goodbyes and farewells to the underclassmen. I just hope that today's graduation ceremony is not exactly like the ones in my dreams, in the sense that I hope it doesn't end with Jack Keane pounding at my door in the early hours of the morning. Now, if you were to ask any member of the Corps of Cadets about their first day at St. John's, you would receive the most detailed report of any. For example, dinner on my first night at St. John's was spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, and another vivid memory, I cried a lot. But what is this phenomenon? Why is it that cadets are able to recount their stories of their first day so well? As a brand new cadet, the odds seem insurmountable. The mountain looks too steep, and the end of the journey here seems endless. It is the same feeling one receives when looking up at the peak of a mountain from the base. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today, the class of 2015 stands before you, or sits rather, having conquered this mountain and ready for the next. Our future paths will each be different, but there will be seemingly insurmountable obstacles along the way, just alike. I believe that as we scale our personal mountains and we conquer the obstacles lying in the path of our own successes, that it is our calling, no, our duty, to pass forth the torch that illuminates the way for others after us. In order to light this metaphorical torch and pass it forward, I would like to offer a few words of wisdom that have lit the way for this class of 2015. As children and even adults, we often hear the words, actions define our character. I wholeheartedly agree with this statement, yet I would like to add a word and a point. Throughout this mountain climb of sorts, I have learned that it is not only our actions that define our character, it is our thoughtless actions that define our character. Small things like saying please and thank you, picking up a piece of garbage, or lending a uniform item to a fellow cadet has taught me that it is the selfless acts that cadets such as you perform and perform without a second thought or the need for compensation are the actions that truly build character. Another piece of advice while climbing the mountain of St. John's is to take each and every opportunity that is offered to you. Do not let the fear of failure stop you from achieving your dreams. You owe, it for, you owe it to yourself to try. 
Years down the road, when you return to witness a commencement weekend as an old boy, you will not reminisce your failures as a cadet. You will see that each attempt at something new was a new step trodden in fresh snow and in the right direction. Last night, we culminated the finale of our climb with what some outside observers might call a funeral. We uncovered a class stone, signifying the end of our journey as a class, and participated in a ghost walk. Some of us even cried, and rightly so, for it was celebrating the end of something great. However, it is necessary to end great things in order to begin something new, and even better. So at long last, my senior brothers sit before you without regrets, without past reservations, and without heavy hearts. This is a joyous occasion that will linger in our minds for the years to come. Congratulations, class of 2015. You have reached the mountaintop. Thank you.